In May 1965, the first Australian troops bound for war in Vietnam left Sydney. They were headed to what would become the longest and most hated conflict in Australian history. The Vietnam War not only tested Australia's soldiers, it stretched Australia's friendship with America to breaking point. We did it our own way. We didn't do it the American way. It's what they didn't tell us that became important. Because anywhere the Americans went, shit followed. Well, I just don't think that Australia could have a better friend. It was cynical in the long-term disastrous. And Australians will go all the way, as Americans will go all the way. The Vietnam War was the first test of our alliance with America. It was just what Prime Minister Menzies wanted to hear. Sarong Han picked his best jungle warriors, the Dirty 30, to create the Australian Army training team in Vietnam, known simply as the team. In August 1962, the team touched down in Saigon. Not only was South Vietnam infiltrated by communist insurgents, the people were in the grip of the corrupt and tyrannical president Ngo Dinh Diem. Vietnam is predominantly Buddhist. But Diem and his family were Orthodox Catholics who imposed an intolerant and much resented moral code. Uh, best applied here, where the jungle is, where the mountains are. We put the outpost into the area where they're going to be uh, effective. As the Vietnam War escalated, this area in the Central Highlands played a hugely important strategic role. We're close to the borders of Laos and Cambodia and the Ho Chi Minh Trail, the North Vietnamese supply line to Viet Cong forces in the south. The Ho Chi Minh Trail was just one trail. It was a series of tracks and trails and um, the onward movement of that equipment was on, on backpack or on bicycles or on elephants. The local tribes here, the Montagnards, had no loyalty either to the North or the South. The American military might was it, we were just in awe of that. We'd never, I'd never seen artillery fired in anger. I'd never seen tracer rounds. I'd never seen high performance jets and airstrikes in action. And to be quite honest, it frightened the crap out of us. There really were a lot of opportunities along the way for the United States to learn from the experience of our allies. But we wouldn't listen to the Brits, we wouldn't listen to the French, the Australians. The American army knew how to fight a war and it was determined under General Westmoreland to fight the war it knew how to fight. The Iron Triangle was a 300 square kilometer area just north of Saigon that seethed with elusive enemy troops. In all, 15,381 conscripts, national servicemen, or nashos, would go to Vietnam. The first conscripts helped build the Aussie base at Nui Dat, and then got on with the job of taking control of the province. Our tactics were cautious, careful, and exploratory. We wanted to know what was going on before we committed ourselves to anything. And then we wanted to make sure we had the fire support for it. And we did it our own way. We didn't do it the American way. Tức là đánh với quân đội Úc thì mang tính chất lì lợm hơn. Họ có thể áp dụng vào chiến thuật của uh, hiện đại. Mounds of bodies and they would simply crawl over the bodies of their mates and keep on coming. When all seemed lost, the troops radioed back to base to shoot artillery shells on their own position, hoping they could move before the shell fire hit. 
In the end, the artillery fired the shells just ahead of the forward platoon, with devastating effect on the advancing Viet Cong. Went back in the next morning, the trees were just completely torn apart, the undergrowth was blown everywhere. Everywhere you looked, there were enemy bodies. The cost to our army and our nation has nothing compared to the damage inflicted on the region. The fall of South Vietnam, the boat people, the extraordinary suffering that resulted from a failure to learn the lessons of counterinsurgency rapidly enough in Vietnam.